Greetings citizen, and welcome to another episode of This Week in Star Citizen. It's been a busy week with the release of 3.9 on Wednesday, but we'll come back to that shortly. For now, let's kick off with. Instruments of Surrender Part 4 was published to the RSI website, following the adventures of Hickory and Drak. This part is super jumbo sized, and an excellent read, go check it out now. Link in the description below. Inside Star Citizen, we joined Jensland, lead FPS programmer, for a magical mystery story about magical appearing apples. Player feedback analyst, Michael Smith, then explains how CIG's issue council system works, and we finally get to the bottom of the magical appearing fruit and burgers. I actually had a burger appear in my face, while attempting to squeeze my Carrick's fat ass into a landing bay in New Babbage. I'm happy to finally get some closure on where the damn thing came from. Admiral Disco Bid then introduces us to senior designer Robert Elms who gives us some insight into the comms core system being developed for Squadron 42 and the PU. The interesting thing about this tech is that it will be real and not scripted, showing the actual cockpit and face of the person you're talking to. Pretty neat really, will have to remember to put a pair of pants on if I'm taking calls in the future. Star Citizen Live we join Lord Disco Beard along with technical VFX artists Jacob and Oliver, as they demonstrate how to throw together a pork-shaped gas cloud in Houdini, and throw it into the PU. Fascinating stuff. Link in the description below. Next up, some sad news folks. This year's CitizenCon has been cancelled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Word has it though, that they considered hosting it in Jared's basement, but health and safety were not happy with there being just one toilet. Which is still one more toilet than the fucking Connie has but anyway, yeah. This made me very sad as I was looking forward to mingling with fellow space nerds, and pestering the mighty space potato for an autograph. Oh well next year it is. Unless we are invaded by fucking aliens, which is a very real possibility according to recently released top secret footage. Also with the launch of 3.9 CIG have created an alpha 3.9 referral bonus week. What does this mean? It means if you sign up a buddy, and they back Star Citizen between now and May 11th, you will both get a grey cat buddy. And if that doesn't give you a massive space boner, I don't know what will. But if you need a referral code, you can find mine in the description below for an extra 500 million alpha UEC. Or maybe it's just 5000. I can't remember. But you'll get a buggy, which is better than 500 million cash any day. Okie dokie. So some of you may have noticed that CIG pushed 3.9 to the live PU on Wednesday. And so, besides the new in-game content, we get a whole bunch of new items CIG would like us to consider purchasing. Let's have a quick look see at what they are. So obviously one of them is the SP Rear Budgie, a stealth dropship with some hefty size for weapons and a frankly awesome cockpit. I'll be having a play around with this in game in the next few days, and so will report back my findings. In the meantime, you can pick one up for $440 as a standalone or $395 war bond including the super sexy Arvis helmet, which you can pick up on its own for just $4, which I have already. We then learn that the Miscreliant series has been reworked for 3.9, including the core, a light hauler, the Tanner, a light fighter, the Sen, a research vessel, and the Mako which is a news van. Okay then. Anyway, you can pick these up in the store for 65, 75, 85, and 95 smackaroonies respectively. Link in the description below. And so, in other news, CIG have announced an epic month ahead. Besides the aforementioned 3.9 referral bonus guff and the launch of 3.9 itself, we can also look forward to Fleet Week. What the fuck is Fleet Week I hear you ask? Good question. CIG describe it as an epic free fly, special promotions, community contests, and more. You know what, I'll take it, Fleet Week sounds awesome. We can also expect Theatres of War to enter a testing stage sometime this month, which means that the avocados will huddle in super secret corners of the verse, gagged by NDA, while us mere mortal scrubs fight over the leaked tidbits from the leaks discord. Sounds epic. 
and finally the VP of development for Squadron 42, Brian Chambers, will be briefing us all on how the teams are progressing, and why we won't be seeing Squadron until 2036, or something. CIG have at last released a service status page for the platform, PU, and electronic access. This new page, the link for which is conveniently not listed anywhere on the main RSI website, shows the current status of the game, and any issues related to it. At least now we'll get a vague idea what the issue is, when we can't log in, instead of just scratching our heads and frantically scrolling through Spectrum for answers. This new feature proved particularly handy this weekend after a short 3.9 patch was released that was supposed to fix some issues, but ended up creating more as people couldn't get into the game, or all their ships were missing, along with all their cash, purchased items, moby glass and fucking heads. A full spectrum meltdown followed which was way more entertaining than anything on Netflix. It's amazing. 3.9 in the PTU was superb for me. Super stable and butter smooth. The live version is frankly a bit of a mess. But hey ho, that's the nature of Alpha I suppose. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, please let me know what your experience with 3.9 is, and why it's shite. Just kidding. Some more interesting informations to come about this week via the reddits is that CIG have apparently decided to rename Alpha 4.0 to 3.10. Not sure what this means exactly other than a load of unnecessary renaming work, but hey ho. I'm good either way. And finally for this week's episode let us have a quick gander at all of the development progress in the roadmap roundup. Well that was to be expected really wasn't it? Right then folks, that's all we've got time for this week. I'm going to try and get back into the PU for a space smoothie. As always, thanks for watching. Now, commence like button slapping and subscribing. Do it now.